All right, so hello to everyone watching this. This is Everett, uh, just me this time. And I'm gonna be talking about bound design in HFSS. So these are gonna be, uh, this is gonna be a balun for the spiral antennas I designed in, in my uh, previous videos. So there are many different types of balans. I believe uh, for most spiral antennas, the most popular type of balun is actually a infinite balun, which I wanna show here on this website antennatheory.com. So an infinite balun is when uh, the spiral antenna arms are actually a coaxial cable. So we can see here that this uh, black stem here is actually supposed to be a coaxial cable. It has the inner and outer uh, cable part. And then at the center of the spiral antenna, the outer part actually stops. And then this blue stem is just the inner part of the coaxial cable. So I believe the infinite balun is actually the most popular use for spiral antennas. But for my project, um, I was actually making a microstrip style spiral antenna. And so an infinite bound didn't seem pretty practical to me. And so I actually opted for a tapered bound design. And that's what I'm going to get into right now. So we're actually going to do all the math here in one note. So a tapered balun looks like this. So I'm going to draw a rectangular substrate. I'm going to draw two of them here to show each side. So the tapered balun, of course, has a positive terminal and a negative terminal. The positive terminal is just a rectangular strip like this. But the negative terminal actually looks like this. It's actually a tapered shape. And so this, uh, again, this is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. Um, they're both going to be the same width at the top here. And so this tapered balun, let's imagine we have our spiral antenna right here. We have one stem and the other stem. The tapered balun will actually feed the spiral antenna from the bottom here. So like this. It'll feed the antenna from the bottom and uh, provide an electrical connection to the spiral arms. Um, and since it's feeding the spiral antenna from the bottom, that means we need to have our conductors, the spiral arm conductors on the bottom of the substrate, not the top, which you can just do by flipping the whole thing upside down as I did. And also as a reminder, since uh, the balance coming from the bottom, that means that the spiral in HFSS, the spiral is going to be on the plane z equals zero. And that means the balun, the bottom of the balun here is going to be on the plane z equals, let's just call that negative h underscore balun. So h underscore balun is just the height of the balun, uh, this part here. And so that means uh, at this plane here, it's just going to be negative h underscore balun. So to get into the math of this, um, we want to def define all of our dimensions of the of our balun here. So our coordinate system looks like this. We have x, y, and z. So let's define our dimensions here. Let's um, <clears throat> let's also define some lines here. So we have a uh, this line here. This line, of course, is uh, y equals zero. And then we also have this line, which of course is x equals zero. Let's say this width here is x underscore base. It's the length of the base of the balun. And then we also have, of course, this is h underscore balun as we defined earlier. And then we also want the width of this part here. So this is gonna be, let's call this, uh, y naught actually uh right here since that's uh in the y direction that should be called y underscore base y underscore base this right here we'll just call x underscore base
And also as a note, um, the balance here, the positive on the positive and negative terminal, they're gonna be the same at the top here. So that means the positive terminal, of course, is just gonna have a width of y naught throughout the whole thing here. All right, so the tricky part isn't um, making the substrate here or making the positive terminal here. Those are just the, the cube function and the rectangle function in HFSS. The tricky part is getting this uh, <clears throat> exponential shape here in, H in HFSS. Specifically, the, uh, the, the exponential tapered shape. So we're going to define uh, two functions. We're going to define a function for this exponential shape. And also, we want, uh, we want the, the function to bring it across here in the y direction. So we're going to have a z function and we're going to have a y function. And so our z function is going to look like this. It's going to be a times e to the t plus b. So we want to find out what a and b are. And our y function is going to be, look like this, just a linear function, c times t plus d. <clears throat> and of course, that's because in the z direction, that's where the exponential shape comes from. And in the y direction, this way, it's just linear. So we want to figure out what a, b, c, and d are. So let's also define t. So let's just say t is between n1 and n2. And so n1 and n2 are just variables you can define in HFSS as the independent variable t, or the boundaries of the independent variable t. So n2 is greater than n1. So to find uh, a and b, well, we can just define two points. We know that at n1, we want our z position to be negative h underscore bound here. And at n2, our position is just zero. So at n1, we're starting here at negative h underscore balan. And then at n2, we're ending up here at z equals zero. So now that we have those two coordinates, we could just plug them into our z function. So we know that at n2, let's start with that, at n2, we have zero equals a e to the n2 plus b. And then we also plug in our other coordinate, so negative h underscore balan equals a e to the n1 plus b. So now we could just take these two equations. Uh, we can uh, just, we can subtract them. We get h underscore balan equals a e to the n2 minus a e to the n1 and b is just uh, cancels out, it's subtracted. And so if we rearrange all this, then we get a equals h underscore balan over e to the n2 minus e to the n1. So that's a. <clears throat> and to find b, well, we could just uh, take this a and we could plug it into back into one of our equations that we have up here. So I'm just going to plug it into this one right here. And we have, well, we have zero equals a e to the n2 plus b. We just rearrange that. b just equals negative a e to the n2. So we have both of those. All right, so now that we have that, let's go into finding c and d. So again, we need to know uh, two points. Well, at n1, n1 is this point here. And at that point there, our y position, our y position we can see is negative y underscore base over two. We can see that because this side here is the negative y direction and we're only going half of y underscore base. At n2, at n2, we're right here. <clears throat> so 
So at n2, we're at position negative y naught over 2. And to solve for that, again, we just plug these into our y function here. So we'll have a negative y underscore base over 2 equals c times n1 plus d. Then we have negative y naught over 2 equals c times n2 plus d. All right, again, we could just uh, subtract these from each other to get rid of d. So we get negative y underscore base plus y naught all over 2 equals c. And we could just, uh, we know d is going to cancel out here. We could just distribute c out. So we'll get c times n1 minus n2. So c equals negative y underscore base plus y naught all over 2 n1 minus n2. And then to find d, we just take c and we could plug it back in here. And we don't actually have to. We could just make d a function of c, just like we did with uh, b right here. So d, we can see up there, d is just equal to, if we take, if we rearrange this equation, we get d is equal to negative y underscore base divided by 2 minus c and 1. And we'll just use that from now on. So we have our functions for a, b, c, and d. <clears throat> and so that's all for this left side, this left exponential shape here. If we want to get the right side here, well, we're just going to use the negative of y. And if we just make all y all negative, then we'll just get, we'll easily get this uh, right side exponential shape in HFSS. All right, so now that we have all that, let's move, let's move all of this over to HFSS.